Hello and welcome to another episode of On the Floor with Wayne and Rob. I'm Wayne Highlander, Director of Sales for Bone Adhesives. I'm Rob Johnson from The Bone of Training. Hey Rob. How you doing bud? Good. This episode is, uh, this is going to be, uh, um, you know, kind of catching up on where we were since we launched Flow, Flow, Flow Adhesives. But this is going to come out around Thanksgiving. So, you know, um, the holidays are, uh, are a great time to get around family, well, some, for some people. <laughs> but, you know what? Um, I always think um, if um, not everybody's so fortunate, you know what I mean? And if you, if, um, if, uh, if you know some old folks or whatever that don't have any family or someone you haven't contacted in a long time or someone that needs something, you know, just think about nice to think about someone else and give someone a hand up or whatever. And, and just a small thing makes a big difference in someone's life. And if you're on the flip side of that, and you know what, you uh, need to reach out to somebody, I, you know, um, uh, I don't ever be afraid to do that too. Uh, I don't care if it's four in the morning. You know, if you need to get, reach out to somebody, um, uh, don't reach out to me four in the morning. Um, I'll give you Rob's phone number. Rob be available. But uh, 303-386-2902. Call him at four in the morning. Call him at four four o'clock in the morning. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Hey, listen, anybody who's been to my training, Uh everybody gets my home number and I tell them the deal seven days a week, 24 hours a day. Good deal. You got something going on. Don't be afraid to call me. I like your style, Rob um let's see and you're on uh you're on west coast time so you feel free to call him on on that four in the morning on west coast time um yeah we had a speaking of family we had a guest over at our house um for a while and he's not like we kind of live in more of a rural area now kind of and this guy's from the city and um he stayed for i think three days with us rob and uh, we have a spare bedroom that we go, yeah, okay, just, you know, there's a spare bedroom for you. And he went to bed around 10, 15 or 10, 30. And he, he paged me at about 11 o'clock. He texted me about 11 o'clock with a picture of an insect and he go, on his pillow. And he goes, what's this? And I looked at it and I go, oh, it's, it's a stink bug. It, it, they, they come out this time of year. We never go in that room, you know, they're harmless, you know, and they hibernate sometimes and it's an old home and drafty and sometimes they'll come out. So um, they took a picture of like three more on the drapes, right? Like he's freaked out now, right? So the next morning, you know, I, you know, I kind of feel, but Judy's going to hate me telling this story, by the way. <laughs> so the next morning I go, hey, they're harmless. They hibernate. Like right now, right now, ladybugs, we start seeing a lot of ladybugs for some reason they come out. I said, um, there's a lot of, we have a lot of critters around here. In fact, the other day there was a possum in the yard. They had like eight babies on her back and they don't hurt anything. They're um, actually, I don't know if you know this, but possums actually, they cannot get rabies and they eat like, I was telling them, they eat like 5,000 ticks a year and a bunch of insects and bugs. And they're, they're actually good to have around. So he said, do you mind if we throw one in my room? So, you know what? We had the same thing. I live in an older house. Yeah. It was built in the 50s. We get the same thing, the ladybugs, but our ladybugs bite. That's the thing. I, You're kidding. I, no, I've been bit by a couple through the years, and I guess they're, they're Spanish ladybugs. So, you know, where most people are like, oh, isn't it beautiful? We, we kill them. Cause, really? Yeah. I, I yeah, never heard of ladybugs I, biting you. Couldn't believe it. Because I was like, what? One night I was watching a Bruins game and what the hell hit me on the back and on the neck? I've been bit like twice by these mm-hmm. ladybugs. Unless Pauline's sneaking up behind, sticking me with a pen or something, but that's what Could it be. feels like. Yeah. 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 I was in a shower but the stink the other day. Bugs, the stink bugs, I think they're kind of funny. I like them. They, you know, they just, it's like all of a sudden, the, they're just like walking across the table or something like, Hey, mm-hmm. how you doing? You know? Yeah. Just minding his own business walking by like, like nothing. 
you know, some some creatures in this world get a pass. You know, like just on looks alone. Their is life that, is easier. Are you are you looking at me? What are you well, saying? That? Well, you look at look at like um like a beetle. You'll kill a beetle. It's an ugly looking thing, but but like we see ladybugs, like, oh look, ladybug. Yeah. If it's in the sink, we like gently move it out so we don't drown it when we turn the sink on. You know no, what I mean? Not me. Not anymore. Really? The, yeah, they they they're going to war with me. So Wow. Maybe you're just I'm gonna extra win. sensitive. <laughs> um all right you know i was shopping the other day i was at i was at home depot i'm starting to think there's too many handicapped spots <laughs> you know now, don't, don't, the, don't get, the older you get don't get me wrong you know I, everybody in the world thinks that Everybody I meet, it's like, oh, that Wayne. Eh, that, nice and I'm like, are, are you listening to the show? He's not all that nice. Now you think there's too many. Or are you talking about there's handicapped and now there's pregnant mothers? No. There's veterans. Because the parking lot where we go shopping, the, the grocery store. Yeah. They've got expecting mothers have a spot. Really? Veterans have a spot. Hmm. Handicaps. Veterans get a pass every time with me. Every Absolutely. every single time. And of course. of course, of course, mothers too. And and people that need handicap spots, 100%. 100%. Yes. And listen, I have a great deal of empathy for people that have any kind of situation like that. I figure I'm going to end up that way myself one day. I see handicap placard in my future. I mean, as, as much as I've been beat up over the years. But when you go to Home Depot, and there's like 15 empty spots up front. I mean, how many people can be shopping handicapped people can be shopping at one time in some of these places, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It just seems like there's a lot. Uh, again, I, I don't want to make a big deal about it. But I'd just like to give out a, a shout out to the American Disabilities Act Foundation. And Wayne really does not re represent the thoughts of Bona or myself. This is Wayne I Highlander. The, I am the most empathetic person. There. And if I catch someone parking in a, and that's not in a hand, that's not a handicapped parking in a handicapped spot, man, I mean, I, to me, it's, 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 a, it's a sin. It's terrible. I have absolute empathy for someone that needs a handicapped spot um no problems whatsoever you're just saying it that they shouldn't like be so a... close to the store and they shouldn't have so many <laughs> right is that what you're saying i'm just saying there's a lot there's a lot like i went to theater the other day and, the, and, and there's like 15 empty spots and everybody's having to park way back there uh, we're very lucky in this in this country right now a lot of anyhow all right so well, um, you know now that we're on the parking spot deal um when when you're traveling for bona where do you usually stay oh what, well, you know what's motel your six motel <laughs> six or super eight <laughs> that's not true i know it isn't I like, you know, Hampton Inns, Garden Inns, the, wow. the Hilton family of hotels. Yeah, yeah, I'm saying. Okay. Now, you know, once you've stayed, you know, you make your status, you know, platinum, gold, you make all that, and you think, mm -hmm. oh, man, I'm sitting on top of the world now. I'm, I'm platinum, which really means you're just a yeah. big loser because you're away from home more than everybody. You're away from your wife all the time, yeah. right? Yep. She's happy about it, but you're you're not. Mm. But now, have you noticed in the past couple of years, they put that sign up for the parking space. It's right next to the handicap spaces, mm -hmm. diamond member only. Yeah, I've seen cars in there that I know they're not a diamond member. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I yeah. Wait on I, when they come out. I I I know. Yeah. 
they are not a diamond member. Yeah. Okay. There's there's no diamond member driving a seventy four Pinto. No. No. No way. Okay. Yeah. That there should be some kind of a check system. Something. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, not to brag. But I'm a bigger loser than the diamond because now I've stayed out of town so many times in the last 20 years. I'm now a lifetime diamond member. I don't have that status. So I have diamond member status for the rest of my life. I don't have to qualify anymore. Yeah. Now, if the Hilton people are listening, you can't have too many lifetime diamond members. You should have a little thing that you can cover that so you you want your own i want spot. yes that's where i'm yes right I'm, i've been away Lifetime from my wife. diamond member i've been married about 40 years i've been away for about 20 yeah okay i should now for the loyalty don't you think i should you know what i'm gonna agree. you you Re- should get free breakfast. For rob johnson yeah you should get free breakfast and a a, a parking uh, your own parking spot lifetime member yeah yeah yeah, well, just throwing it out there. If the, you know, if what's her name? What's that Hilton girl's name? What's her name? Paris. Paris. If Paris is listening to the show, and we all know she's a listener, um, you know, maybe she can give a shout out to Conrad. There you go. All right, Rob. We've had um, we've had uh, Bona Quantum flow out now. I want to see about six months. So I wanted to do a do just kind of like a, a catch up on this product and see where we're at right now with it and everything and and um, I am I, I feel so fortunate right now and it, and and I'm so happy because this is you know this is this is something I've pushed for 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 a long 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 time and uh, we finally got it so there's a fair amount of pressure on on you know in that case but the um, Man, it has been off the charts. The feedback has been off the charts. Um, and I just want to go over a couple of things about the product. Before you get going, I want to share a little flow story with you. Okay. You don't mind. And Please. then you can. Okay. I waited so, you, so I wasn't completely interrupting you. Yeah. Because you know I'm the interrupter. Mm-hmm. During lunch the other day at the class we had in Florida, there's two companies sitting next to each other a couple rows back we're all just eating lunch and talking whatever okay i'm not even really i'm not even i could barely hear what they were talking about okay but then i when i heard flow i heard something about flow so i kind of you know listen to what they were saying it could have been a commercial for flow and it was just two contractors using it and the one guy was he just was so amazed on how easy it flowed out and he goes as soon as i poured it out of the can he's like oh this has got to be crap right and then he starts talking about how he's spreading it and the ridge stability and he goes then he started to get excited like he was getting loud where everybody in the class is starting to listen to this guy you would have thought he was a plant from you okay yeah and then the other guy's like, oh, my gosh, I was thinking the same thing. I thought, oh, this is never going to work. And he goes, I thought I was just going to smear all over the place. He goes, the mm-hmm. ridges stuck there, this, that. So, yeah, you, you guys nice. definitely got a winner with that one. But it was funny just to hear two guys talking about it. That, Yeah, I appreciate that. Uh, and, and listen. I can, you know, I'm, I'm beyond stoked about it. You know, I, I keep talking about my, my wife knows more about flow than she should because I talk about it all the time. Um, I haven't seen you smile this much since the basement people screwed me. Screw, yeah. <laughs> Are you done, by the way, now in the basement? Is it done? The basement is done. Good. The basement Good. is done. Good. So you're done with all your projects. The basement is done. Yes. Okay. The heater, right. the gas heater's in, the new duct work, the air conditioner, the hot water on demand. It's it's all done. Good. It's absolutely all done. I don't have any more money. I'm out. Yeah, That's you it. Sound, yeah, it's, you sound thrilled. Yeah. 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 Hmm. Yeah, absolutely. 
Wow. Pauline goes, I'd like to do this and that. I go, check with Greg. Okay. Check with our boss, Greg Bethune. See what he thinks. Is it in the cards? Yeah. Do something else. Yeah. You know what you could do? You could sell those nights that you saved up for the, your platinum status for 75 <laughs> bucks a pop. <laughs> All right. right, people I can sell them to is my kids. I'm their travel agent. There you go. Yeah, can you okay. give me a flight in a room? Here are the <laughs> dates. <laughs> All right, so uh, a couple things I want to touch on in flow. Uh, some people are, are aware we have an unlimited warranty on that product. But here is something unique about um, the unlimited warranty or the, the, the uh, warranty in general on that product. Uh, if you look at a lot of manufacturers that have an unlimited warranty, uh, you basically have what I will call an all or nothing. You'll use a special trowel. You're getting around 30 square feet or so, maybe less sometimes, maybe a little bit more, and you get unlimited warranty. Um, if you don't use that special trowel, you get three pounds of 75 RH warranty, which is basically just an entry level nothing. There's no, no more protection there at all. Uh, with ours, you, it's not an all or nothing. You can use a 1250 trowel, and you get about 50, 55 square feet per gallon, you're gonna get a 12 pounds 85 warranty. You could use our 1500 trowel, a little less spread rate, but you're, you can get it up to, to uh, um, um, 85% uh, um, 87% RH moisture protection at a great spread rate and you go up to a wider plank. So it's not all or nothing. You know what I mean? You, you have an opportunity because a lot of people will use an adhesive, they go, oh, it's all or nothing, but they're getting 50 square feet per gallon with it. Well, they're not getting any warranty at all with that. They're getting just three pounds 75. With ours, you have another opportunity to still get a phenomenal moisture protection at a great spread rate. That's that's one thing, and, and, and that's resonating with a lot of people. Um, two, we also have, and I'm just going to do a real quick basic math here for you real quick. Um, we have four trials. And a lot of a lot of guys are just saying, look, we're, we're doing an engineered floor. We don't necessarily need the moisture protection on this engineered floor and what have you. It's seven inch wide. Uh, you can use our engineered plus trial and get about 65 to 70 square feet per gallon. OK, so let's say I'm just I'm just throwing out a random number. Let's say the pail costs you one hundred sixty five dollars. Right. And um, you get 280 square feet out of the pail. So if you do the math on that and if I round up it's cost you about 59 cents a square foot for adhesive that has a lot of bells and whistles to it. So, um, you know, just don't forget that engineer trial as the economy gets worse right now, uh, guys starting to slow down a little bit and what have you, when, you know, every, every dollar matters. Um, just be aware that we do have that trial. If you, if you're using an engineered floor up to seven inches wide, you can, uh, use that trial, get a great spread rate. And, um, so it's a, it's a great, adhesive to match what your needs are okay um the other thing too is um what i hear what you hear what, this is what i wanted you know when we came out with this product is i wanted something that was easy to spread super easy to spread and it spreads like a dream just i'm just going to give everybody a, a, a pro tip here if you trial out our adhesive and you just trial it out and leave it you're you're going to keep the ridges up really nice and high Okay, it's amazing that you think, oh, okay, well, trials out so easy, but how does it hold the ridges retention so good? But it does. But trial once and be done with it and move on. The more you keep trialing back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, you start a chemical reaction, and and that's when it, that you, know, you you'll see some slump in the ridges. Just trial it out and leave it, and and you you, you don't need to fool with it anyhow. You just trial it. You don't need to go back and forth over it anyhow. So. That keeps the ridges up nice. And I'd say the same thing with any silane adhesive in the, on our 851 adhesive and what have you. So um, let's see. Um, That's a pro tip from the pro, man. That's a good yes, one. Just trial it out and leave it. And you'll watch some ridges. And we've now, we just went through some I'm going to say that at all my trainings now and pretend that I came up with that. You should. I'm going to yeah. make it sound like, wow, that Rob knows exactly what he's Yeah. Yeah. It's like when I do Thank my you fire, for that one. you're up. It's like when I do my fire speeches, <laughs> and I tell everybody that, yeah, well, you know, this is the way. You know, NWA always asked me to do my speech about fires. 
and I do word for word your speech. Um, super easy to clean up. I, I always tell everybody when you're doing a demo, uh, first thing you, you should do is take some of our adhesive and put it on a board and then put, put that board aside. Come back 24 hours, come back in 48 hours, come back in 72 hours and try to remove that adhesive. And you'll notice that unlike a urethane, it doesn't etch the boards. It's going to be super easy to clean up. Um, doesn't turn your hands black, right? You use it all day. In fact, some one of my guys, when he does demo, he usually sticks his hand in the adhesive <laughs> and, and just shows how easy it cleans up. You would never do that with a urethane adhesive. Uh, you would also never leave a urethane adhesive on a floor for 72 hours. This is the future, no question about it. It's, it's German technology and... Um, I say nine out of 10 floors being installed in Europe today are being installed with a silane adhesive. There's no debating anymore where we're going in the industry. We're more moving towards silanes. Um, so despite did the that- flow, uh, Did the flow get, it's Green Guard or is it Green yeah, Guard? Yeah, is it's it? Green, Green Guard Gold certified as well. Green Guard so, Gold. Yeah. Okay. I, I, you know, people are gonna maybe get tired of hearing me say this, but I'm gonna just say it one more time. Uh, I just saw an ad recently where there was a, a, a little girl, I don't know, she looks like she's three or four years old, and she's laying down on the floor, and her and she, like her face is touching the floor, and she's got a little puppy next to her, right? It's a scenario you would see in homes across America, kids and grandkids. Well, I was looking at that picture, and I was thinking to myself, you know, a half inch underneath that little girl's nose is a sea of chemicals, and we breathe everything that they emit. And little girls, especially little little girls and boys, the little kids, their lungs are, are are developing, and they you know they're they're much more sensitive than than uh, adults. So um, you know, again, we breathe everything that gases off that floor into our home. Green Guard Gold, the certification, it means it's safe for children, schools, and hospitals. That is a selling feature, man. And you know, no homeowner is going to come up to you and say, "Gosh, I'm looking for something Green Guard Gold." It's never going to happen. They're never going to want to, they're never going to know the difference. It's something that, you know, on the estimate, if we can educate them, we talk about upselling jobs and whatever. If you give someone a choice, what choice would they pick? You know what I mean? It's a no brainer. It's the only one in the entire industry that has that certification. Uh, Green Guard Gold and Plus, it gets them thinking about it where nobody yes. was ever thinking about it. Yes, exactly. Nobody ever thought. I didn't. Yeah. You remember how jacked up I got about it? That. Yep. My gosh, now we've really got something to even talk about with the adhesive. Yeah. That's going to be there forever, as long as the floor is there. Yeah. And like the guy you were talking about at your class, I think it does. I think it checks off all the boxes for the installers. It's easy to spread. You get, you, there's no wasted pails. If you ever had a urethane adhesive and you use half the urethane you put in your van and open it a month later, first of all, God help you getting it open. And it takes the jaws of life to get it back open again, the lid. They're usually a hockey puck of adhesive you have to fight. This adhesive, you, you open the pill, whatever little skin over is there comes right back out and you go right back to work. So you're not wasting anything. So, I mean, it just, uh, I, I, like I said, I could, you know, it really was five years coming out with this that hit every note that I wanted to hit. I didn't want to give up any of the features and benefits that we had with the, with the 851. I don't want that product to change and it won't change. I mean, that's, that's our, that's our flagship product, but um, I wanted something that for, you know, I came from a, a slab market when I was a contractor, when we glued down every day, we glued down floors and you get fast at it. And uh, you, something that pours out easily and trowels easily, man, it's just a time saver going across that floor. It's, you know, you, you put eight hours of your life in, into doing something every day. This is just going to be so much nicer for the guys that are coming from, you know, if you spread some of the urethanes by two o'clock in the afternoon, uh, even some of the modified silanes and whatever, you two o'clock in the afternoon, your arm is falling off your shoulder. You know what I mean? This is uh, super easy to use. So uh, to say that it's been successful would be an understatement. So um, yeah, pretty good stuff. The other thing too is the shear strength on this product. It's funny because I look at TDS sheets all the time, technical data sheets. And um, from other competitors and what have you. And what I've, I'm seeing a trend now that you see people not even listing their tech, their, 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 um, their, their, their um, uh, shear strength anymore. They don't even mention it. If I could bench press 400 pounds, I'd be able to work that into every conversation. You know what I mean? 
If I could only bench 80, bench press 80 pounds, I probably wouldn't talk about it. Um, we yeah, are showing pictures. Here I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah look at that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so we are very transparent, man. We put it all out there to see. I mean, and and that's important to me. That the, if you look at the, the the permeability, the the shear strength, the tensile strength, every 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 metric you can measure adhesive, we have it out there. So um, yeah, it's been it's been, um, and the guys are thrilled. I mean, the, the the doing the demos. I mean, the guys are thrilled doing it because the feedback has been so good. So um, it's the only thing, the only the, the thing that I thought we were missing in our lineup is because I didn't want nothing to change about the bone adhesive because like I said it, it's 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 been fantastic but I wanted something that would fit that niche that would be super easy to trial and um the, we we nailed it on this one so uh you know while me I'm, I'm responsible for the sales uh our our scientists in Germany uh they don't care about none of that I mean nothing to them that's why the, it took so long coming out until they got it where they wanted it, and uh, and finally we go, okay, this is this is it. Uh, the balance between flowing out, the ridge stability, the ease of use, and everything. This they it's been the this is they nailed it. So, yep. So pretty excited about it, Rob. It's been a it's been a good one. So yeah. and will con- continue to be. So. It was just funny. I knew we were going to do the show on flow this week, and to hear those two guys talking about it randomly during lunch i was like man if we had taped this we could have used it as a, a tv commercial it was so funny just two guys talking about the product and uh, everything that they loved about it and how surprised they were about it too what's cool for me is when i you know i, I look at social media all the time and i see guys across the country and you see some of the some freaking studs using the product man you know what i mean i mean like wow that that's that's yeah pretty cool that that guy could use anybody's adhesive and he's using ours you know what i mean yeah. so that's yeah, definitely when you see that across the country that's pretty pretty darn cool so uh i feel very fortunate that everything worked out yes sir um i do have some bad news though you do i do i have some bad news okay it uh it finally happened to me finally happened mm-hmm. and all this You know, what's been going on the last, I don't know, three years or more? I got COVID. I got COVID. Did you really? I got it. You're kidding. No. This is the first time, right? First time. You were pretty careful, though. No, I wasn't. I thought you were. I flew. Wait a minute. I was flying, Mm. traveling, hotel. I, I tell you, flying during COVID. Awful. I felt like a king. There'd be 10 people in the plane. You'd have, you'd have giant rows to yourself. Yeah. You'd have the whole, both sides of the aisle to yourself. Hmm. COVID flying, the best. And they were kind of funny about it. You look back at the things that they were telling you to do. It's like, okay, you got to have your mask on. And then you can pull your mask down, take a sip of coffee. Yeah. And then put, put your mask back. back up. Yeah. Yeah. Or if you're eating nuts pull it down, put a nut in, close it up. They were literally, yeah. that was part of their spiel. You know, yeah. the, the, the you know the oxygen mask is going to drop down. They're telling you how to eat and drink with a mask on. I mean, yeah. you look at it now, and it could be a Saturday Night Live skit. Yeah. But you remember a few weeks ago, we had, um, we interviewed um, Matt. The Was it Matt or my, Matt? Oh, Matt Garcia. Yeah. Yes, Matt. Yeah, yeah. And you remember all that coughing I was doing during that? Yes, I like, yes. I felt. It was embarrassing. Oh, I couldn't stop, you know? Yeah. And uh, the next day, I called up the Teladoc guy. And I, you mm. know, because every, every fall, every spring, I get, somehow, I get a uh, sinus infection. What are you doing with the Teladoc? You know we got insurance, right? Yeah, the Teladoc is free. It's through our insurance, Teladoc. Sure. You just call the guy and tell him I have these symptoms? You just call him. It's the greatest thing in the world. If you haven't used Teladoc, you're nuts. I can hardly see where that would help me. I'm going to write it down. Listen, the Teladoc guy, I tell him what the symptoms are, and he goes, sounds like a sinus infection. And then he looks at the history and he goes, yep, you had one 
six months. Yep, same. Yep, it starts out as an allergy, blah, blah, blah. So I call the guy, I think it was like Sunday morning, right? Really early, too. It's like six o'clock in the morning. Because <laughs> we did the show on Friday. Yeah. And then I was like, man, this call, I got to, you know, I'm calling Teladoc. Sunday morning, 6 a.m., I call Teladoc. Pauline is walking by, and she hears me say, because he said, did you test for COVID? And I said, oh, yeah, I didn't. Yeah. I lied, right? Yeah, I hope Teladoc course. people, yeah. they're going to get rid of me. Yeah. So I go out. They're calling in prescription or whatever. And Pauline goes, you lied to him about testing for COVID, didn't you? I go, yeah, I don't have COVID. This ain't COVID. Yeah. She goes, eh, let's let's do a test. Yeah. Well, we did the test. And you know, it's one line or two lines, right? Mm -hmm. Well, it was two lines, but the one line you could barely see. I mean, it was, it was barely, you could, I mean, yeah. I was taking pictures and spreading it out, right? She goes, no, that's, that's COVID. I go, it, it, I don't even know if that's a line. But then I took another one right after that, and that one, and now I'm screwing with it. Like, no, nah, I still don't see the line, you know. But the sad part of me, I got COVID. I'll be darn. Didn't even know I had it. Like I said, I thought it was a sinus infection. Then we start reading that sometimes people that get COVID get a sinus infection with COVID. Hmm. So I might have been the other way. So anyways... The sad part about me getting COVID was I thought I had the cure for COVID and I wasn't telling anybody. <laughs> yeah. What was that? I was taking two vitamin D pills and a zinc pill okay. every day, every morning. Yeah. So I would be walking through COVID airports, COVID hotels, restaurants, car rental, knowing that I have a shield of COVID because I knew the trick and I wasn't telling anybody. I was doing, everybody was doing that. That's what they told you to do. I thought I invented it. No, everybody said, every, what everybody had in common in the hospital that, that, um, that had COVID, they had a vitamin D deficiency and you had to take zinc. That, that vitamin D and zinc, you had it. That was you had to take those two. Every, like you're the only. Everybody knew that. Not me. You know what? Sometimes I fell asleep with the TV on. Maybe I heard it and then thought, "Oh, I know." Oh, man, that. It could have been it. Yeah. Yeah. And then as months and months and months go by, everybody around me is getting it. Everybody. And I'm like, I'm like a ninja. I'm not getting it. No, I know the deal. You're licking doorknobs. <laughs> that's with that confidence yeah. i eat fly yeah I, i'm good i don't know how to do any i don't hmm. know what's wrong with you people well i'm glad you're okay i'm glad you're 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 good and i feel like that probably did help you get it not as not as bad as you could have got it well i got the i got the shots and stuff too but okay. that was a while back yeah yeah i just okay i think the original thing i got the shot was so we could I couldn't go to Canada unless I got the shots. Yeah, that's why I had it. That's why I got it. Yeah. But I thought I had the cure. I guess I didn't. Well, it might have helped you. I'm glad the main thing is you're okay. Well, when Pauline got it, the doctor said to Pauline, did your husband get it? And she says no. And she says, well, you know, he should probably go on vitamin D and zinc, you know, extra. Uh -huh. So when she told that... I was like, yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. already do it. I, yeah. So Rebecca's was... husband, Kyle, he hears me talking about this one day, and he goes, so you think that you had the cure for COVID, mm -hmm. but you weren't sharing it for any, with anybody. That's what I was going to say, too. Did, <laughs> did Pauline know about the, your, the cure? No. Oh, my had. God. <laughs> you keep that from her well i don't want i don't want to use everybody as a guinea pig you know yeah, i want but... to test it on myself okay and then break the news to the world mm -hmm. but did you ever see the movie the jim carrey movie the grinch yes yeah 
there's a scene in the movie where he's going through his schedule. And this is what my son-in-law reminded me. There's a scene in the movie he's going through his schedule, and it's like 4 o'clock, solve world hunger, tell no one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, that was good. me. Solve yeah. COVID. Tell, tell nobody. nobody. Like your style. And now, <laughs> yeah, and now everybody's like, yeah, zinc and vitamin D, just like you were saying. Yeah. Everybody knew that. And I'm thinking, nobody knows what I know. Wow. They don't know this. Look at look at me. I can do anything. Nice. Well, it just goes to show you it's all what, what your mind can do, man. When you have none. Um, okay. The on Thanksgiving, we you know. Uh, we've done Thanksgiving shows before. We're not going to do one right now, but uh, we say it every year that um, uh, we hope everybody gets time to spend with their family and um, um, can leave work behind for a little bit. And um, uh, it, it is a hard, hard job being a foreign, you know, no matter where you are in this industry, it's a tough job. So hope that everybody gets a chance to, uh, to just uh, take a, a break for a day or two and uh, relax and watch some sp- football maybe or not and just uh, enjoy time with your families so and thank you guys for we're thankful that you listen to the show um and so um we appreciate your listenership for sure we're doing a school thanksgiving week you are we're doing a school up in boston monday and tuesday actually i was supposed to do it a few weeks ago but i got COVID. ah so you kicked it down the road so i said man um Hmm you know what do you want to do do you want uh you, you want to do the school and we'll get somebody out from from denver to do it or do you want to postpone it and they said no we we want to postpone it we want you we you're want you not there. you're you're not gonna this is your baby and yeah. you're not gonna let anybody yeah do it. But come on boston thanksgiving yeah, yeah. yeah. i'm, I'm no. looking forward to it there you go yeah it's not a, it's not bad we're gonna do it monday and tuesday so looking forward to seeing everybody up in Boston. Actually, Wonderful. by the time you hear this show, it will be the school. You'll be, be in over. the middle of it. Yeah. It'll be Monday and Tuesday, right? We have shows on Wednesday. So, yep. hey, everybody, thanks for coming to the Boston School. It's great seeing everybody. There you go. All right. Well, happy Thanksgiving, everybody. And um, thank you for listening. And this has been another episode of On the Floor with Wayne and Rob. Please stay tuned for another episode. <laughs>